All right. Next up is Strive Tech. Hello, everyone. Um, I'd like to introduce you to future of human performance. I was a semi-professional athlete for seven years, and I followed that with over 10 years of biomedical research in human performance. The result of those two is Strive. But what actually inspired me to do Strive? I was an athlete, and I realized that fatigue is a big issue, not just for athletes, but for anybody that pushes their body. It can cost health, money, and even lives. Everybody that pushes their body deals with this. Whether you're an athlete and you have around $1.2 billion annually spent on injuries and fatigue-related issue, whether you're a military personnel and you have to be engaged in a field for 14 hours at a time, whether you're a firefighter fighting wildfires in the mountains of California, Colorado, etc., where 50% of deaths are directly caused by fatigue, or whether you're a regular consumer who wants to be trained better. Everybody has to deal with it. Everybody has to become better and overcome their limitations. At Strive, our goal is to help everybody uncover their hidden potential by offering them smart clothing that tracks their key fatigue indicators, biomechanics, muscle, and motion. Now you can say, well, there's a lot of variables today on the market. Yes, you're right. Uh, you can be a walking uh, commercial with 10 different wearables, straps, bracelets, bras, and everybody's trying to go after it. Everybody's trying to do, whether it's monitoring heart, or whether it's monitoring muscle, or whether it's monitoring biomechanics. They calculate. As Strive, we measure. We cor correlate all major fatigue indicators, and we have help coaches perform better, we help athletes perform better, we help military personnel perform better. What we offer is a smart clothing that's provides actionable insights, no more data crunching. Forget the Excel, forget, we heard coaches say they spend two hours a day analyzing this data. It's ridiculous, like go home with your family. Rugged and washable, we meet the requirement of 300 machine washable cycles that coaches require us to do. And training more convenient means streamlining exercises where all the players can do a single exercise at the same time and coach immediately sees results. The market is enormous. Uh, 15 billion is total addressable market. However, Strive will address $4 billion of high-end wearables addressing advanced consumers and $4 billion of data, which is analytics. This market is growing at 50% year over year, which is very exciting for us. But how are we gonna do that? Today, we're partnering with Division I schools who are sponsored by large athletic brands. This partnership allows us to develop success stories and test our product. Once we achieve that, we're going to establish our brand as a leading offer of performance monitoring. Now remember how we develop relationship with these schools who are partnered with large brands? We start partnering with large athletic brands. We're looking specifically at Nike and Under Armour. Our business model is simple. We offer three different packages ranging from consumer to high-end uh, coaches with consulting services. On average, we will be charging $2,500 per athlete per year. We started in J January of 2016. First, we proved the market. As of today, we have 50 schools on speed dial ready to work with us. So these are some of the schools that we will be partnering with. We're in fourth revision of hardware, which I'm wearing right now, and we have our app already available in Android and iOS stores. We'll be st starting revenue in June of 2017, so in about, oh, I don't know, 13 days. And then we'll be following that up by delivering 75 units to schools in September of this year. Next year, we'll be addressing our pre-sales funnel, which again consists of 50 Division I schools and sports teams. And finally, opening for sales to everybody in September or Q3 of 2018. This year, our forecast is $75,000. This is just partnership and pilot testing, followed by 1.6 million next year once we start expanding our university reach. Now in 2019, we'll start addressing military market, who we're already cultivating today. In 2020, we will be addressing the consumer and leveraging the partnership with Athletic Brand to um, increase our drive. Our exit strategy is an acquisition by one of the larger brands. Just to put that in perspective, typical multiplier is 10 to 24 of the current revenue which makes us really exciting. Given that we'll be collecting large amount of data, we will not just be a hardware company or a wearable company, we will be a data company. 
Our theme consists of four people. Um, myself, as, as I said, athlete, biomedical engineer. We have a software developer. We have a hardware developer. And finally, three-time NCA AA champion with Alabama and the University of Connecticut. He's a coach, by the way. For, he was coach for those schools. Last year we spent in Florida. I lost 12 pounds working out whole week demoing to a bunch of different coaches at a coaching conference. <laughs> My wife was very thankful. <laughs> what we heard is we heard a lot of excitement. We heard coaches saying that one-stop shop for everything. Again, remember the person with bracelets, bras, straps, and whatnot? No, it's clothing, you put it on, we bring lab to you. This is the future of our profession. It, people are excited, coaches are excited. The cool part about the conference last week is that United States military was there. As a matter of fact, United States Special Forces was there. Once we presented the system, this is what he said, promptly asking, would I mind flying to Afghanistan and Iraq to deploy this with the Special Forces? Why not? A dashboard for my players. Again, no more data, no more Excel spreadsheet, no more graphs, charts. We will do actionable insights for you. We will simplify the way you coach your team. This is the way of the future, and it will change our whole program completely. This is University of Connecticut women basketball team. The ladies that won 100 games back to back, they're still excited because they see potential in what we're offering. And finally, my favorite, one of the two leading labs in the country, as a matter of fact, some people would say in the world, that we're approaching holy grail of performance. With this system, you can fundamentally change the way people train. You can fundamentally change how people performance is evaluated and how people reach their next level. As Strive, our goal is to make everybody be like Mike. Our goal is to make everybody be on top of their game. We have technology to do this. We have traction to do this. And I'm excited to announce that in the near future, Strive will be a gold standard for what performance looks like and Strive will be a gold standard of what success looks like for anybody that pushes their body. And I hope you can join us on that journey. Thank you very much. My name's Katie, and I was the lead for the due diligence team. And Yoko was also on our team, and Javier was helping out as well, so thank you guys. Um, so some of the questions that we uh, asked during due diligence were, um, you know, does the team already include everyone who is needed to take this product to sale? And the answer was yes, very clearly yes. That, um, you know, they have the hardware, the software, they can reach out to their customers, as you saw, you know, Travis is just knows everyone, is what they were saying. It was super nice. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> and so, you know, they've got it 100%. Uh, we were pretty, worried when they first told us just because it is a software and hardware company and there's a lot going into it but um, they have everything that's needed so then um, you know the other question which this is where I I think I was trying to do this before I had coffee this morning so I messed up the product slides anyway so their product one of the big questions was is you know why would people switch over to this product if teams already have all these other you know wearables and you hear about Fitbit and all this stuff um, and I don't know a lot about university teams, so this was a big question for me. And um, you know, the the reason is because people are wearing compression clothing already. This isn't something new. It's not something that they have to add to, you know, all of their padding and whatever they're wearing for practice. This is just something that they'd be wearing anyway. So. Um, that was a big thing for me that you know you don't need something extra and so for the players it makes it a lot easier and then for the coaches the software is so easy to read when we were when they were showing us the app it was like oh yeah I, I understand like where people are not doing well or you know doing great so um, and then for the customer traction you know how um, how would you uh, be getting customers and from these big conferences, they've been talking to universities, they're talking to Homeland Security. I mean, they they had it covered. So those were our big questions and they were answered <laughs> very quickly and easily. Um, so then a few other questions that um, we had is, uh, um, you, sp <clears throat> you spread through across three major segments. So what's the cost associated with um, opening each segment and how are you handling those? Yeah, absolutely, that's a great question. So um, 
just to remind you, we have, we have three major segments. Uh, sports teams, military and homeland security, and consumer. For now, we're focusing on sports teams, primarily because athletes set the standard of what performance looks like, of what proper training practices are like. For us, establishing our brand, proving ourselves with athletes is the toughest part. From there, it becomes easier. However, being at the coach conference last week, we met with military, because military was there also to learn what are the best training practices. So these guys train like athletes. As a matter of fact, if you look at any special force team, whether it's uh, Navy SEALs, Rangers, Green Berets, they work with professional athletes. As a Fort Lewis people work with Seahawks guys. So that's an extremely easy transition for us because it's the same software, they just don't use the ball. Whether it's a football or basketball, they still run, they still sprint, climb hills, bench press, etc. For consumer, on the other hand, that's going to be transition we'll, we're going to be making after. We will be, need extra funding to support that effort because in, at, with athletes and military, there's not much marketing. Uh, and there, there's not many campaigns, word of mouth, everybody works together. With consumer, on the other hand, we will be uh, simplifying our product further, but we'll also have to do a little extra marketing on building awareness, which we hope having leverage, built a strong brand with athletes and military, it will be easier to transition to consumer. Um, and so then, I guess, since we only have one minute, um, going off of that, can you uh, tell me who will be participating in your pilot? Because I hear that's Absolutely. starting. Um, Clemson football just won NCAA championship. UConn women basketball team, University of Washington basketball, uh, Tennessee, Mississippi, Iowa State. So. Cool. Uh, I think that's it. All right, awesome. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank so much, you guys. Over. So we have some great sponsors that are providing some support for the entrepreneurs. We want to get more entrepreneurs to be successful enough to be angel investors so that we amplify the cycle.